Alright guys, welcome back to Beard Canics Garage. In today's episode, we are going to take a uh, Stage 3 Audi S38V for a little drive because I haven't had time to experience it yet properly. When I went to pick it up, there was a lot of traffic and we will do a couple of launches as well because so far it's still learning period. So we need to launch it so that it can actually good times because at the moment it doesn't. Oh, and it might sound a bit quiet to you. I am well aware of that. Uh, it is getting resolved and I'm already sorting the next uh, tuning session anyway. So we will probably do another stage 3 tune, uh, basically. Uh, but yeah, it's going to take a little time because I'm going to try to go to a name that you guys know. It's a little bit far, but I have the meth kit, so while we're here, we'll throw a little meth too for extra power. Anyway, let's go for this drive. Oh, and if you wondered what the dyno chart look like, I'll put it on the screen now. And as you see, I'll point to the temperature. It was really hot that day. Um, so, you know, getting 510 in that temperature, I guess, was already not bad but uh, I am hoping the next tuning session is going to be in colder weather and if not when it's winter I might book a dyno run full temperature doesn't really make any difference it's just a number and to some extent the bike horse power okay a lot less than the north to 60 and the quarter mile so far the North to 60 hasn't been quicker, but learning period is normal. When we went stage two, it was the same. The beauty of uh, it not doing pops and bang anymore is, unless I drop a gear, a bit more quiet. But when you've got a golfer in front of you with a clearly aftermarket exhaust and stuff, <laughs> you feel a bit like, oh, I, you know can't really make some noise on kind of like, oh, I test have a play, shall we? <laughs> Otherwise, you know, like here we are in town and stuff, going stage 3 didn't kill off, like, drivability in town or how easy it is to drive or anything like that. For that, it's still the same car. If you want to drive it nice and quiet and nice and slow, He'll allow you to do that if you want to go crazy. Well, this is a thing we still need to check, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not quiet when I don't shift. But I actually found, thankfully, a way to control it. If I don't shift and give a tiny bit of throttle, it won't do it. So, you know, because otherwise it's hard to control. And, you know, you get noticed by the police with stuff like that. Second to third. Thank you. 
to leg it on the way back as well so I'll record the last leg guys and then yeah that was 349 yeah so you know 0.04 second quicker than that 400 bike <laughs> anyway Change are not right at all when legging it. Anyway, come on in. Come on. three seconds still nowhere near where we should be uh, after it's hot day as well huh? but we should be a lot closer to three where here is still uh, yeah a lot closer to mid three where 3.53 is where we were at 400 here at the moment the best so far 3.33 on a quarter mile of 11.7 uh, which is slower than the one I used to get. Anyway, it's ready. I'm alone on the road. Why not do another bloody launch, isn't it? Oh, I should put it in gear first. Come on, Zil. After three lunch, he learned all the time. He had done two lunch last time, already done what, two lunch today, floored it here and there. All right, well, uh, sorry to do a little change of video. Now we are in here like that, but the GoPro just uh, switched off and just told me I'm too hot. So bye. 
I guess I should have left the aircon on, but it's always interfere with uh, the sound on the video and stuff. But yeah, anyway, so overall, guys, I'm slightly worried that the launch is not tuned it quite right, simply because every time I got it tuned, there was that learning period, and you know, after a couple two, three launch max, it was all settled, all tuned in, bosh, 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 like. I'll do the same time, all the time, like, constant. Now, I'm on five, five, six launch, and, you know, it doesn't launch right. The times are poor, and, yeah, I mean, even when driving around and I put my foot down, even then, I struggle to change gear or put gears up and stuff like that. So, to be honest, <laughs> To be honest, after this drive, it, it went from, you know, being whiny and, and, like, really upset about the behavior of the car changing to basically now being worried that, actually, uh, yeah, it might not, not launch properly anymore, um, so... But yeah, you know, <laughs> do not worry, do not worry. I want to keep this one a bit. We are going to go to Deval's development at some point anyway. We still have mesh to put in. It will get another full stage street tune from somewhere. On Tuesday, we are going to get our sounds back. So it, it, it's all good, guys. It, it's all good. Just, you know, nothing is ever easy. Let's finish on that point. See you later. Love you all. Well, apart from one. <laughs>